Hi hey everybody, this is a quick informational video. I got a Motorola XT912 Motorola Razor here. I'm going to show you how to do a factory data reset. Uh, there are two ways to do it. One by going into the menu options, which I'll have that in the description. And then this is the alternate reset. So if the phone is off or constantly going through a reboot, this is usually the procedure you want to take. Um, so what you want to do is this. Right here you got the power, volume up and down. What you want to do is press and hold volume up and down, so both are actually pressed, and then press and hold the power key. Once you get your boot option here, and let me see if this will get a better picture here. There we go. So now what you want to do is you're going to press the volume down to highlight recovery, and then to select recovery, you're going to press the volume up. So now you're going to get the Motorola logo here, and then it's going to take you to another screen. This will take a few seconds. Alright, so now this is your basically your Android recovery screen here. You got the little guy laying on the bed on the side. So what you're gonna do to get into the options to get more options to actually do a reset, you're gonna press and hold the volume down, then press volume up and let go of the volume down. So now what your options here are shown is reboot system now, apply from external storage, apply data from ADB or wipe data slash factory reset. So I'm gonna use the volume down. To highlight wipe data factory reset and then I'm gonna press the power key to select so now it asks are you sure you want to do this it cannot be undone so I'm gonna highlight yes delete all user data and I'm gonna tap the power key to select so now it's actually starting the process it's actually rebooting formatting the data here we go hopefully this will okay there we go it'll take another few seconds here It's actually almost done. There we go. Once it's done, you're going to be presented with the same options here. So you want to make sure reboot system now is actually highlighted. And you're just going to tap the power key to reboot the phone. So now it's actually going to reboot the phone. And it's going to come back on uh, like you're taking it out of the box the very first time. And uh, for it to come back on, it might take another minute or so. Uh, hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Click on the description uh, to check the other way, if anything. Uh, thanks again.